At some point, somebody throws you a ball you can't handle and the whole house of cards comes down. That's how saturation works in the airplane. And that's why I tell my instrument students, there will come a day when I ask you what your name is and you tell me to stand by. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Welcome back to the Finer Points. If you were to ask me, hey Jason, is there one skill critical to all of flying? Um, I would probably say no. <laughs> but if I had to distill it down to one thing, that thing would be multitasking. The ability to accomplish multiple things uh, in a given period of time. And, and don't tell me that multitasking is a myth. Um, I understand the theory and I kind of agree with it, but the bottom line is, in the cockpit, you are the one pilot that has to accomplish many things and you have to continually check in with those things and have the ability to divide your attention such that the entire big picture comes together at the right time. So in this video, I'm gonna show you an exercise that I use to build that multitasking muscle to perfect scan techniques and also to develop primacy where flow checks and checklists are concerned. It's called the Oscar pattern. Here's how it works. So the Oscar pattern is just like a rectangle in the sky and we're gonna start here on north. We're gonna fly straight for 30 seconds and at the end of 30 seconds, at the, at the midpoint of this first leg, we're gonna start our climbing right turn. We're gonna climb at 500 feet per minute and turn at a standard rate, so two minutes later we should be 1,000 feet higher and back on heading. Um, but we have 30 seconds to kind of clean that up before we have to make a right turn. Now we're headed east and we have 30 seconds before we start our next midpoint maneuver of a descending turn. Okay, and we're just gonna go all the way around the pattern. We're gonna go south and then west and then back on north and at the midpoint of each leg, we're gonna do this exercise of climbing and descending turns uh, so that you can experience a little bit of saturation, perfect your scan and work on the primacy of flow checks and checklists. Let's hit the control button, then we'll start it. Okay, we have Good, now 30 seconds. In 30 seconds, maybe starting at the 29th second, uh -huh. you're going to go full power and enter a climbing right turn, a climb, 360 degrees. So you're going to climb at 500 feet per minute, forget about the speed, just pitch to 500 feet per minute, standard rate, go all the way around in a circle until you're on north again. Starting on the 29th second, let's go mixture rich. Good. There you go, full power. Standard rate, 500 feet per minute. Good. Inverted V. Pitch, you're, you're more than 500 feet per minute? Yeah, good. Yeah. And then, good, and that thing lags, so you'll try to figure out a sight picture when you come back through the middle that equals 500 feet per minute. Nice, that's um, good, that's been 30 seconds. So you should have turned 90 degrees or so. You can kind of start to see where you are in relation to yeah, what you I'm want. A bit behind, yeah. Okay, don't, you, when it comes to turns, probably don't correct it, just notice it, and you'll correct it in your 30 second. Uh, oh, you know, in the cleanup. Yeah, in the cleanup, exactly. Good. So I stay in this inverted V throughout the turn. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah, I think so. It's not like you can't look at other instruments. Remember, like the. But that's, uh, that's what I want to kind of focus on. Yeah, it's kind of like a framework, you know. Um, that's a place to start. Keep going all the way around. You have to go so all south. The way to north. At south, so at 130, we should have been passing through south. Good. And what altitude did we start at? Uh, 3,000, I believe. Good. So you see how this is like a brain is yeah, starting to okay, saturate yeah. you? And then we could add one more thing and say we're in a climb, so we can't check the heading, but pressure, temperature, vacuum, amps, lights are good, power set, mixture's good. And then you would just quickly, you know, complete that, throttle, mixture, flaps, whatever it is. Okay. Checklist complete. Good. And then when you come back around to north, you have 30 seconds before we make the right turn, and then another 30 seconds to get ready for the next ride. 
when I hit 4,000, even though I haven't completed my turn, do you want me to yep. level off? Yeah, that's part of the challenge, because this will happen to you in real life, all this stuff, where you level off in the turn, right? You come to your altitude in the turn. Yeah. So now you have to level off while turning. There's 230. Hey, thank you so much. So technically we're in our 30 seconds of cleanup now. So I want to stay at 4,000 and get all the way back to north. We're almost there. Yep. Good, and at three minutes we turn right to a heading of east, because this you're in your 30 seconds of cleanup. Right? Okay, so I only have... There you go. Keep it coordinated. Nicely. Uh, yep. Okay, three minutes, what are we doing? Turning right to east, so... Right to east. Yep, now we're doing the top corner of the rectangle, right? Okay. Um, it's a 30 second turn to go and, uh, no... Uh, level changes, right? Yeah, because we're just rounding the top of the rectangle there. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get a track for you. Ain't got other traffic sites. Good. When you get to 3.30, you have 30 seconds to get ready for what's next. Now, you at four minutes, we start a descending left 360. Descending left 360. Okay, yep. so back to east. Yep. Now, first things first, we're just going to try to basically get the pattern. And um, what I'm asking Joe to do here also is understand his level of saturation. To what extent does he feel that his brain is being task saturated? That's an important feeling that I want him to become familiar with, that I want him to understand, that I want him to recognize if it happens to him in the real world. And then I will give him two very specific tools slowing down or asking ATC for delays, um, specific tools to help relieve that pressure as he falls behind the airplane. Um, so an important part of the Oscar pattern, pattern is staying close to that saturation point. Um, if you haven't heard me talk about the saturation point, it's that analogy of the juggler, right? If you can keep maybe like eight balls in the air, you're a darn good juggler, but at some point somebody throws you a ball you can't handle and the whole house of cards comes down. That's how saturation works in the airplane, and that's why I tell my instrument students, there will come a day when I ask you what your name is, and you tell me to stand by. And uh, if you can, cross-check that with a list. I don't know if you can tell, but Joe's starting to get a little saturated here. I can sense that. Um, it's been a great day at the gym. We take this all the way through. Here he is toward the end. I think feeling more confident about the maneuver, but also ready for a little rest in a Gatorade. All in all, your 500 feet per minute is looking great. You're supposed to get to four at nine minutes, right? So you're like right on it. Pretty darn close. That early, that early thousand foot per minute got you a little bit ahead, but nothing horrible. Good. Overshot there. That's fine because you're you're getting ahead here because now you have 30 seconds to actually clean this up before you do anything. So you have until nine minutes and 30 seconds to just get organized here. Don't do anything. All right, aviators, that's all for this episode of the Finer Points. I hope you got a lot out of that. That's an amazing uh, gym day exercise for initial instrument pilots, um, even VFR pilots. Just remember to keep your eyes outside the airplane if you don't have a double eye or an instructor. Please come to learnthefinerpoints.com and pick up a free gift video I would love to give you. Um, also, you can get a lot of extra bonus content and monthly Google Hangouts with me. If you want to support the Finer Points, come to patreon.com slash learntfp. Big thanks to the sponsors and to you, the best fans on the internet, for watching this video. I'm Jason Miller. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, be safe and fly your best.